This video is set to private. You're only able to view it because I made it just for you, my favorite viewer. In this video, I'm going to go over the differences between the classic UV5R Baofeng UV5R radio and a regular GMRS radio. Because one of the questions that I get more than any other question is what is the difference between a Baofeng UV5R and a real or regular GMRS radio? I will keep this video short and to the point. There's only a few items to go over. I won't ramble off topic or waste your time with stupid intros, with music and fancy graphics. I know your time is valuable, unlike so many other YouTubers that seem to think you've got nothing better to do than sit around watching videos all day long. In fact, this may be one of the shortest videos I've ever made. So what is the difference between a UV5R and a regular GMRS radio? This happens to be the KG905G, available only from buy2wayradios.com. They did not send me this particular radio. I paid for this radio with my own monies because it's one of my favorite handheld GMRS radios. So what is the difference between these two radios? The Baofeng UV5R is a ham radio. It is not legal to use a Baofeng UV5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies. This is because the FCC has strict rules on what radios can be used to transmit on GMRS frequencies. And for many years, the Baofeng UV5R came nowhere close to meeting any of those rules. So it was not type accepted by the FCC to use on GMRS. You can listen to GMRS, you can listen to whatever you want with one of these radios, but you cannot transmit on GMRS. You can't transmit on anything not within the ham bands using one of these radios legally. Even if you have a GMRS license, even if you have a ham license, even if your ham license call sign is on the license plate of your car. Starting sometime in 2021, the newer Baofeng UV5Rs won't even allow you to transmit on GMRS frequencies. So if you buy a newer UV5R, it won't even let you break the law. What will happen if you break the law and use a Baofeng UV5R to transmit on a GMRS frequency? Based on the FCC's record of enforcement, which by the way, by law is made public on their website based on the prior record of FCC enforcement. Nothing will happen if you use a Baofeng UV5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies. So the next time some expert tells you that if you use a UV5R to transmit on GMRS or if you use it without a ham license that you will go to jail or get a $100,000 fine, ask that expert for a link to the public database to the enforcement entry for anybody that has ever been cited, fined, or even warned for simply using a UV5R without a license or to transmit on GMRS. They won't be able to because it has never happened. Can you hear that? Do you hear that? That's the sound of sad ham heads popping all over the internet. A GMRS radio can transmit only on GMRS frequencies. You can listen to many other ham bands and FM radio. You can listen to all kinds of stuff, but by law, and in order to be authorized or type accepted by the FCC to be called a GMRS radio, it can only transmit on GMRS frequencies, GMRS channels. I say channels because in GMRS, on a GMRS radio, it, it doesn't use frequencies. Most radios won't even show frequencies. There may be an option to go in and show the frequencies on some radios, but GMRS, like CB, uses channels. So you never have to think or worry about frequencies. You've got 22 channels. So to talk to somebody, you tell them to pick up their GMRS radio, you put them both on the same channel, and you talk to each other. No need to worry or think about frequencies. A UV5R, you have to program in frequencies. It only deals in frequencies. You can assign a channel to a frequency, but the channels are arbitrary that you dream up. Everything on a UV5R is frequencies. That means that if you want to use your UV5R to illegally talk to one of your friends who is using a real GMRS radio, your friend says, okay, let's go to channel 16, the official off-roading channel, for example. He puts his radio on 16. You need to know the frequency of channel 16 before you can illegally talk to him. So you've got to go look up what is, you've got to go to your Google machine and look up what is channel GMRS 16's frequency. You then have to program in that frequency. You have to know how to do that before you can illegally talk to your friend with the legal GMRS radio. By the way, 
for a list of GMRS frequencies and channels, a table. Click there so you can look up what frequencies belong to what channels for GMRS. On a GMRS radio, it is very simple to use a repeater. You just have to know what channel the repeater is on. You turn the dial, you put your radio on that channel, and you talk and you use the repeater. That's all you have to worry about. You may have to worry about a tone. Most repeaters have a tone that you need to transmit from the radio to activate the repeater. On all radios, that's very simple. You click the menu button, you scroll through the tone list, and you select the tone. Very easy to talk to a repeater using a real GMRS radio. To use a repeater on the UV5R, it is a pain in the bitch. You need to know the input frequency. You need to know the output frequency. You need to know the offset in megahertz. If you don't know both, you need to calculate the frequency from the offset. You then have to know how to program those in to the UV5R and save them so that you can then talk on that frequency. Pain in the bit. And then, of course, you also have to enter and program and save the codes to activate that repeater. Pain in the bit. I said this would be a short video, and I think I have delivered on that promise. So the short version, for those of you too lazy to watch the whole video, Baofeng UV5R, very complicated, more complicated to use than a real GMRS radio. Baofeng UV5R is not legal to use on GMRS. A GMRS radio, by definition, is legal to use on GMRS. If you have any questions about the Baofeng UV5R, about my KG905G, or any GMRS radio, where the difference is, or the hows and the whys or the whats, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer the questions. If I'm not able to, somebody else will come along, they will try, and statistically, they will leave the wrong answer. Because statistically, people leaving comments on YouTube are morons. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check.